Hi, friends. It's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome back to prompts from December of the Inspired to Create Challenge. Now, if you're new here, welcome. If not, you know the deal. Uh, Melissa and I over at Messy Missy Creates started a challenge for ourselves, invited anyone who wants to come along. And I am just so far behind in posting this, but I do want to get them done. So I actually filmed this, I think, in January, but it's now March as I as I record this. So um, the premise is we posted a, a word a week and then we came up with prompts for each letter. OK, so I'm showing you what I came up with for each letter. So the word this week was believe. And I'm not too sure if I can. <laughs> I showed you very quickly what what my choices were there. Um, and like I said, it's been a little bit since I have filmed this. So let's see if we can walk you through it. So for the B, I chose B or Beehive or B theme something, right? Um, we'll see. Uh, e, I believe, is envelope. L is light bulb. I don't know what I is. We'll figure it out. Um, I guess as I post, I do see an igloo there. I'm not, I I'm, don't think I use the igloo. Yeah, we'll see. I showed you very quickly in the beginning because I was trying to kind of rush through this and I realized I didn't need to rush through it and I stopped talking and so I, I needed to do the voiceover. And uh, January was a hard month for me and um, I just wasn't able to kind of be present and show up with energy all the time. And so uh, just sitting by myself and kind of creating was fun. So that's actually a piece of vellum that might be a V prompt. I don't know. I'll list them below when I post the video because I wrote them down in my journal. So the first thing to note is like the piece of paper I'm working on is a piece of paper that fits into my December creative daily journal. And that is how I did all of the prompts all year long. Uh, I know some of you created all sorts of wonderful things. And so uh, some were um, postcards or bookmarks or um, art journal pages and glue book pages and all sorts of amazing things. So there was absolutely no rules to this, which which did make it fun. But I chose to keep them in my monthly journals. Now, if I were to do it again, which we are not doing it this year, um, but if we were, when I do another one, I have kept prompts in a separate journal before, and I might go back to that because I like to kind of flip through them, you know, and look at them all. So if I were to have to, if I were to choose to, not have to, but if I was going to choose to look back at my prompts from last year, um, oh, there's my little list. Um, I think I'm choosing library card there is what. Yeah, so you can see I'm struggling with the igloo um, on that B. But anyway, um, if I wanted to look back at my prompt pages, I would need to go to each month, which is really fun. And for the first, I don't know, through October, I think I put them actually on my weekly page, um, you know, every Wednesday. And so that's kind of fun. Like, uh, I really, I really enjoyed that. So I don't know, there's a win, there's a win to each, each part, I guess. So anyway, um, but anyway, this one I create on a separate piece of paper. I always do them on a separate piece of paper and then glue them into my journal. Now for November, I made, uh, four pages and I tucked them all into a pocket at the end of the journal because I didn't, I used a journal that was pre-made and it didn't have space for it. And so um, I, I ended up doing the same thing for December. So this, this little card that I'm making it on this page, if you will, uh, will go into a stack in the back of my December journal. So you can see I'm struggling a little bit there. Like, do I want to use the igloo? I do have that little bug, if you will. Uh, it is an insect and that came from Happy Mail and I absolutely love it. So did that fodder card. If you can see it, that beautiful um, little note card, this library pocket came from Happy Mail. I'm really, really trying to use up my Happy Mail against my, against my um, normal <laughs> behavior. <laughs> I like to hoard happy mail. And so um, 
I want to, I want to really try and use it. I am a hundred percent sure and know that is why people send it. And so I'm really trying to go along with my word of the year also. And, um, my word for this year is release. And, uh, I'm trying to be okay with releasing things, knowing that when I need new things, they will be there. Trusting, trusting that new things will always show up, um, not just with craft supplies, obviously, right? Not just with craft supplies, but there's there's not a need to hoard things. Now, I also really feel strongly about not being wasteful. And so I do still tend to hold on to packaging and, you know, things like that. And and I'm also trying to apply release, um, you know, in that capacity. But I mean, we don't need to be crazy with it, right? I mean, <laughs> we can still save boxes. <laughs> so we'll see. So anyway, I am working my way through there. I am, I'm struggling with the E. You can see that it's still blank. So uh, looks like I'm choosing the insect and, uh, oh, ephemera is that pocket down at the bottom. I chose that. And uh, we did use the vellum. And I think that library pocket I'm choosing is envelope. And let's see. I don't really remember. I'm going to have to go and actually look. Yeah, I'm really happy with that, how this came out. It's actually oh gosh, I hate to say it. I mean, I have a few pages throughout the year, but this actually is one of my favorite, oddly enough. It's very interesting. And that's another reason I would like them maybe all in one place so I could flip through them, you know, all together and see all the prompts. And um, a lot of the words you guys gave us, a lot of the words we asked for other people to give us. And I really enjoyed this challenge this year. It was really something I needed to kind of push my creativity and and find things that I wanted to represent those those letters you know and so um I just think I don't know so anyway uh oh I'm looking for this is look at this amazing this was from happy mail you guys look at this amazing book full of words I think I'm gonna look for an e-word if I remember what I'm doing Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I actually, see, I actually don't want to use anything out of here. I'm actually hoarding this. I love looking at it and flipping the pages. Even though the sole intent, the sole intent was to use the words. So uh, I think I'm looking for an E word is what came to mind here. Isn't it cool, you guys? <laughs> It brings up very nostalgic um, memories, right? Because, yeah. Oh, okay. So see that light bulb? I, remember I had the other light bulb? Oh, it's over to the left with the flowers on it. Um, that little box was my capsule uh, for January from Lydia over at February and June. And I, um, look at that. Look at that. It's perfect. Um, I'm really trying to use up what was in the capsule. So I think I pulled that other light bulb. If I don't use it on this, I use it in my page. Cause, cause yeah, I need to use the capsule stuff. Right. So I love that. I found a little quote and that can be our E or one of the E's. <laughs> this was a tough word with three E's. This was a tough word. I do find that like throughout the year, I, my, my intent, I think in the beginning stated or not was like, oh, we'll come up with new prompts every month. And I think I hit at least like, I don't know, month four or the fourth time using E's or whatever it was. And I was like, mm, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. So I love how some of you did themes. And so like a lot of you had like movie characters or, you know, I don't know. And I was like, that is just not in my wheelhouse, but that is a super cool way to, to think about this. So 
we will see. We will see. I think I add, I think I still have to add something if I'm not, if I haven't lost track here, but maybe not. Um, I did, I did end up inking, you know, pretty much everything around there. There we go. Everything. Oh, and there we go. We're done. Okay. So I will list the exact prompts before. So there's, um, I'm showing you. Yep. There we go. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope you find something today that inspires you.